Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья! Вы на канале «Русский язык с Пумой Месси». Всем привет! Здравствуйте! Hello, dear friends! I welcome you all to the channel Russian with Puma Messi. And today we are going to have our cultural lesson, our immersion type lesson. Well, semi-immersion. We will be making Russian salad. The New Year salad number three. I told you there are three salads that must make it to the New Year's table. And those salads are Olivier, and the link is going to be featured under this video. The salad number two, vinaigrette, and the link is going to be featured also. And the salad number three is селедка под шубой. Селедка под шубой. There is a translation actually into English as dressed herring, dressed herring, or it's just herring under a fur coat herring under a fur coat, that's what we will be making with you today. Селедка под шубой, селедка под шубой. And of course, Don Peppers is already here. He wants to um, say hello to everyone. Пепочка, пепа, пепуся, пепа, не надо, пепуся. Okay, so anyway, what do I have here? I have all the vegetables ready. All the vegetables are ready. Actually, the salad is a little bit easier to make than any other salad that we've made before so far because it's few, it has fewer ingredients. Peppa, 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 пожалуйста, не надо, пожалуйста, не лезь, я тебя умоляю. It, it has fewer ingredients and it's easier to assemble the salad. So I hope the video is going to be shorter and you all will... Be that was done peppers. Pipusia. And you all will be able to watch it to the end. <laughs> so, um, what do we need first? First of all, I want you to have a large size plate. It's a flat plate. This is my plate that I use to make this salad because it's very easy to assemble and we are getting nice cake style salad layered salad and uh, here we are and i have of course my herring over here this is i bought the huge container of herring because then after i use some for this salad then i'll be enjoying it with my boiled potatoes when i want to so and again, now I'm going to switch into the mode where you will see only my hands uh, chopping, preparing the layers, and then I'll come back after the salad will sit for a couple of hours and I'll serve a one nice serving. And of course, Peppas is helping here and meow, and meow, and on Peppas, da, da, meow, meow, meow. No, I don't want you to help right now. But, no, go, 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 as I told you already, and um, it's nice and clean and dry. And here is my herring. I will be using a plate to cut the herring on the plate because I don't want to make a mess because then the board is going to smell like fish. And I think I'll use, to begin with, two fillets. That actually, um, two whole fish fillets. Let's see how it goes. Maybe I will need to add some more. And also, I don't want my hands to be fishy and I don't want to touch it. I'm going to cut it. Normally, you cut it very on the, in small pieces. And um, let's see how it's going to come out. And then I'm just doing this. And it doesn't have to be perfect at all you because it will be spread evenly throughout the plate so 
So then I just go and I, I chop it sparingly, randomly, making sure that no large pieces left. Okay, and I think I need to add uh, another piece of fish because as you probably know by now, uh, <laughs> whenever I make something, I make it in a huge portions. And that's why I keep inviting all of you to come over and then share this dish with me. So I think three fillets will do just fine. Okay, here is nice, we are spreading it. This is our first layer and the first layer going nice and smooth and we are all done with the first layer. The second layer is our onion. Okay, so I'm going to keep this so that you see the plate and you see the board, the cutting board. The next layer is going to be onion. I always say it has to be finely chopped, but when you watch me, there is nothing fine about me chopping the onion. So every time when I ask you a question, do you think I'd rather switch it to the cooking channel? You say, no, 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 no. Don't quit your uh, teaching channel because you're doing that much better than you're cooking. Yes, Don Peppers. Yes, I know you're watching. You're watching it. You're really watching it. Okay, a little bit more onion. I thought that, oh gosh, I'm crying. Huh. That's a strong onion, maybe I should be... Uh -huh, peppers. Yes, it's a strong onion, even you don't like it. Even you don't like it. I told you, don't mess with me because I'm going to make you cry. And um, yeah, it's kind of a very cruel vegetable today, making me seriously cry i know that um in my family mom used to say rinse your knife with cold water as much as possible and um, then you won't be crying so anyway here we are i prefer real me you and um and here we go this is the spoon and the first layer going onto the salad and again no salt because uh, herring is salty on its own we spread it evenly as evenly as we can do because the texture of the ingredients are a little bit weird so, okay, the first layer, the two, two layers are done. Now we are doing our potatoes. And for, the, for every vegetable here, I'm going to use a grater. For the beets, the grater is a must. For potatoes, eggs, and carrots, you can cut them in cubes, but I prefer to use my grater today. And um, it's going to be much easier and you see because it's a boiled vegetable it's grating process is really really very easy i boiled about six medium-sized potatoes but again that's me i never make it as the small salad is going to be a huge salad Potatoes, 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 very nice. They just, um, they kind of 
stabilize the taste of the entire of the, that weird herring taste. The vegetables in this salad bring balance to your palate. Potatoes. And mayo. And now I will be using my hands. Maybe, or maybe not. Some people prefer to make it flat. I personally like it as the little hill. Okay. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth, very nice. See, now you understand why you need time for this salad to come to its complete readiness. Because all this mayo, it really needs to go into all the vegetables. Now, let's do eggs the layers very important so the must layers are first one is herring second one is onion the third one is potatoes the fourth and fifth carrots or eggs are interchangeable i prefer my eggs to touch potatoes and carrots rather than to touch the beets directly. That's why eggs go next. So building a nice, nice heel. Nice, nice heel. You see, though I told you no salt overall, but I think at this point, I'll use my salt shaker to salt it just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not much. And now carrots. Boiled carrots is the worst thing to clean. So if you see that they are a little bit spotty, <laughs> it means that I failed to uh, clean carrots to its perfection. But I need this amount of carrot to go into this salad. And I also probably overcooked it a little bit but the salad won't even notice it. Now I'm just crushing it into, yes, don't peppers. I'm just crushing it into the, um, my grater. And uh, that's all we need at this point, crushed carrots. Okay, carrots. Carrots. When you see all this mayo going into the salad, you understand why I'm saying that it could be a meal on its own. Because of course, that many calories that is coming from um, this jar, it all goes into <laughs> it all goes into your tummies. Our beets is the main ingredient it's responsible for its color it's responsible for its taste overall okay so here we go and now the assembly is almost over it's not hard the hardest thing is to get ready for this one to buy all the ingredients 
and then to proceed properly with every layer. And let me move this spoon away. Okay. I hope that my sleeves won't go into the salad. See, this is our this is our salad. That's how it looks without mayo. Everything is covered nicely with the main ingredient. Now it's very, very important what we do next because the next step would bring us to the final look of the salad. Let me take everything away. So out of the way and we have our centerpiece. Our centerpiece, this is our salad. Now is the most important thing what we do. We cover the whole thing with mayo. You make it smooth and nice, smooth and nice. That is our salad. We are going to let it sit at a room temperature. Okay, I think it's maybe, okay. We need to clean the plate. I just simply take a paper towel and go around the edge of the plate. That is what we have. This is our селедка под шубой. Селедка под шубой. It's our herring Andre fur coat or it's our dressed herring dressed herring and what we needed for that we needed let's repeat let's review our ingredients свекла морковь яйца картофель лук селедка I'll come back to you in a couple of hours, show how deeply the juices went and how to cut this cake. Cake, salad, cake looking salad. Well, and now here it is, селедка под шубой. This is Sasha's favorite salad. That's how it looks. We are done it's ready it's nice and red and ready to be eaten now there is an art of cutting this salad let's do it together okay here you'll be able to see it and you cut it literally like a cake so which end is better and we cut it this way making sure you get every layer of a cake and then what do we do we get a fork and a serving thing and that's what it is. That's how it looks. I'm going to drop lots of it. But you see, we got all the layers. Everything looks good. And now I am placing it on a plate. This is our salad. 
this is our final piece this is our cake cake looking salad and now we have finally made it so this is our salad happy new year to all of you guys we came a full round now from of russian new year salads must be served salads at the russian table and we've been already together with you for a year year and three months and we also have almost a thousand subscribers yeah it's 50 more to go please subscribe to the channel please like the video if you like it i thank you all for being at my channel i thank you all for making that far with me this is my salad i'm going to enjoy it all those of you who live close by please as always the invitation is always open if you are if you're in the vicinity of where i live and you know where i live it's monterey california then please come over and we will have this salad yeah it's heavy and then we will have this salad together look how much of the salad we have and that's that's how it looks that's how it looks okay i'm wishing you all happy new year thank you for being with russian with puma macy i really appreciate every one of you i would like you to subscribe to the channel to like videos and the beginning of the year from the beginning of the year i would like us to start concentrating on watch hours because the next metrics after we get the first milestone of a thousand subscribers we will need to get four thousand watch hours because now my channel is my full-time job and i would like it to get monetized here i am because um, making videos now takes more and more my time and i've decided to stop doing all the side jobs and i will be doing this also doing translations of the sunday streams it really eats up all my time so if you wish to support the channel in any way shape or form the uh, donation information is in description under every video i am not going to open up special drives or special things but you can always use my paypal and uh, send whatever you feel is appropriate this channel is now my full-time devotion and dedication the more likes we have the more subscribers we have the algorithm loves our channel more and happy new year thank you for being here and i can't wait to see you all here with me and meanwhile this video is live and i am with you answering all your questions again happy new year don pepper says hello and um i will see you very very soon